our next player. Now the idea here is to pick... I'm gonna pick George. Let's see the list of subjects for this game. Animal science, grammar, music, health, art, spelling, world geography, U.S. history, earth science, English. All right, let's find out. First grade animal science. Okay. For one thousand dollars, here's the question. What is the term for the technique mammals use to blend into their surroundings? Your classmate is locked in. I would say I would say Come on. Can I know, I know. Blend into their surroundings. I'll say. I would say camouflage. I'm going to lock in my answer. That answer must have been buried deep in that brain of yours, but you finally dug it out. Yay! I was thinking that the whole time, I'm just sure. You've got your classmate. First grade grammar. Okay. The $2,000 question is... How many proper nouns are in the following sentence? Our poodle Penelope lives in Pittsburgh. George locked in his answer very quick. Locking in. That's it? That's the right answer. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Proper nouns refer to a specific person, place, or thing and are always capitalized. We have to say goodbye to this classmate and pick a new one. I'm going to pick Alicia. Pick another subject. Second grade music. Okay. For $5,000, here is the question. What folk dance has been made an official state dance by, you, by many U.S. states? Uh, square dance? Locking in. You must have learned something in school because that's the right answer. Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. The square dance involved from the people who immigrated to America, bringing with them Morris dancing and the quadrille. You've got your classmate. Second grade health. All right, for $10,000, may we see the question, please? Alicia locked in her answer very quickly. I'll say true. Locking in. That is correct. Holla. Excellent. If you take a long bath, the oil produced by these blends washes off and your skin gets wrinkled. Your classmates can only help you two questions at a time. I'm going to pick Jeremy. Let's pick a subject. Okay. This is one of the biggest questions on the board because regardless what happens the rest of the game, the least you can win is $25,000. Jeremy has locked in his answer. I would say... Locking in. 
That's it. That's the right answer. Woohoo! Way to go. That was some nice work. Some of the most astounding examples of glass art come from Italy and are called Venetian glass. Let's pick a subject. Third grade spelling. Okay. No matter what happens, you've got $25,000. It's almost like a freebie question because if you get it wrong, the worst thing that can happen to you is you walk away with the exact amount of money that you have right now. What is the plural of spy? I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. You've got $50,000. All right. This subject must be your specialty. One of the more famous real-life spies was Mata Hari. Your classmates can only help you two questions at a time. It's you and me, Juliet. Pick another subject. Okay, the $100,000 question is... That was pretty fast. More importantly, though, you're right. All right. Great job. For the population of 5 million. Which subject? Okay. You're playing for $175,000. I'm going to lock in my answer. That very well could be the right answer, but it's not. Uh-oh. No! Oh, man. That's say. just incredible. Let's see if your partner can handle this one. I hope so. And the fifth graders have done it again. James Madison. Okay. Yes. You've got one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. Thankfully, your classmate knew the answer to that one. You're down to your last classmate. Pick another subject. Fifth grade science, okay. The three hundred thousand dollar question is. Your classmate is now locked in. I'll peek at my classmate's answer. Let's see what your classmate's answer is. You've got three hundred thousand yes. dollars. All right. Okay. For half a million dollars, here's the question. You've got five hundred thousand dollars. Yes. You came up with the right answer pretty fast. Are you sure you're not a fifth grader? Well, here you are at the end of the road. You still interested in the big money? Absolutely. It's time for the million dollar question. Here's how this deal works. I'm going to tell you the subject of the million dollar question, and right then and there, you'll have to decide if you want to try to answer it or not. Let's see the subject of the million dollar question. And there it is, the million dollar subject. Now you'll need to make the call. Either go for the million or drop out and walk away with $500,000. If you go for it, you won't get any help from your classmates. And if you get it wrong, you'll walk away with $25,000. Or you could get it right and win a million dollars. What are you going to do? I'm going for it. I came to play, Jeff. I'm going to go for it. Are you ready for it? This is the one million dollar question. Along with sunlight and water, what gas does a plant need to make sugar and release oxygen? Think carefully now. This is a lot of money that you're playing for. Oh boy. I'm going to say carbon dioxide.
I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. You're now locked in for the final time. One million dollars is on the line. First of all, congratulations for getting to the end of the line. It's not easy. It's pretty simple. If you've got the right answer, you're a millionaire. If you don't, you will lose $475,000 and walk out of here with $25,000. You've won a yes! million dollars. I yes! am smarter than a fifth grader. And I'll see you all for the next segment right after this. You were just amazing. This is amazing. I'm so happy. Become a believer, pal. You just won a million dollars. You can now officially add Smarter Than a Fifth Grader to your resume. See you all for the next segment. Thank you for being with us, too. We'll see you next time on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Bye-bye, everybody.